The modulus operator in Java can be one of the most tricky. It's actually super simple. It's just the remainder of one number divided by the other. So if you have five modulus two, the remainder is one. If you have four modulus two, the remainder is zero. But we'll get into that in a little bit. First, my name is Alex. If you're new here, I make a Java tutorial on this channel every single week. So if you might be interested in seeing that, then please consider subscribing. If you like learning and growing, but struggle to find the time, then you should check out Audible. Audible gives you access to thousands of titles, audiobooks, guided meditation, and podcasts, including how to build a billion dollar app, and a Silicon Valley Y Combinator startup incubator, which inspired me to make my own app. Visit audibletrial.com slash Alex Lee to check it out. Get your first audiobook free. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash Alex Lee. So let's start learning about modulus together. We're just gonna go to file new Java project and let's name it something like modulus fun. Hit finish. And then inside of that project that we just made, on the source folder, right click it and then go to new class. And this will be the name of our Java file. Let's just name it mod. Okay, and we're gonna click the main method so we can run our code. Hit finish. Now we've got our project all set up for us to start learning modulus. Modulus looks like this. It's the percent sign. You may have seen other operators like plus, minus, star, divide, all this. But instead of having all these little symbols everywhere, I'm just gonna type a print statement. What I did right there is use a shortcut. If you wanna check out how that shortcut works or a bunch of my other top shortcuts that I use for programming, I'll have a link on the card now so you can check that out. Let's print four plus two. What is four plus two? Well. When we run this, we get six, because four plus two is six. What about four minus two? Well, that's two. So we're learning that when we click the green run button, we go into the main method, and then we see this print statement code, which will print out to the console whatever is inside of the parentheses. In this case, we have a number four, an operator plus, and another number two. So what it'll do is it'll calculate four plus two, which is six, and then it'll print out that result, which is six, which is why six gets printed out to the console. This is an example of an operator. So this could be minus or divided by or multiplied by. So if we saved this, this would do four times two, which is eight and then it would print out that result, eight. Now let's do one with this modulus. It divides and takes the remainder. So four divided by two is two, remainder zero, because two goes evenly into four. So the remainder is zero, so the result is zero. So if we save this and run it, we'll get zero here. If this was eight mod two, eight divided by two is four even, there's no remainder, so if we save and run this, we'll get zero again. If we do three mod two, what do you think will happen? Well, three divided by two is one, remainder one. So the answer is one because the remainder is one. Save and run, and we get one. Let's do one more little example here. Let's do 15 mod four. We're just gonna use the little formula from before. 15 divided by four, is what? Well, what are the multiples of four? We got four, eight, 12, 16. So four goes into 15 three times to make 12, but only three times. There's a remainder. That remainder is 15 minus 12, which is three. So if we save and run this, we'll get that remainder. You can also do this with decimals. So if we had 1.5 and we had 0.5, Save and run this, 0.5 goes into 1.5 three times with no remainder, so it should be zero since there's no remainder. And notice how since this is a decimal and this is a decimal, the answer is in a decimal. If this was just one, say we have no decimal and a decimal, it'll still be a decimal because that's how Java casts things. If there's any decimal, it'll make the answer a decimal. If this was point 0.6, 0.6 goes into one 
one time with the remainder of 0.4 left over. So the answer will be 0.4. Now you might be thinking, well, when is mod ever going to be useful? And I had that same question as well. So now I'll give you a real world example of how mod can be useful in a real program. So here's a program that I've just copied and pasted over. I'm just gonna import the scanner to make this code work. If we save and run this program that I've copied and pasted into, if we enter a number, say five, it'll say if it is prime number or not. You don't need to know the details of all of this. Basically, we go one number at a time and see if the remainder is zero. If the remainder is zero, then that means it goes evenly into the number, which means it's not prime. And that's basically how this program works. So you can do cool things with mod like this. So I hope this was helpful. Again, mod is just the remainder. We have another example here, 13 mod five. The remainder would be three because 13 divided by five is two remainder three. Boom. I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.